Are you done yet? B. The people first of Josiah, Abel, and Seth, Seth and Beth, sons of Jacob, shepherds of Bethlehem, they were charged with disorderly conduct and disturbing the peace. How do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Not guilty, Your Honor. Not guilty, Your Honor. Prosecutor, you may call your first witness. Busybody. Miss Busybody, please tell the court what happened on this night in question. Well, I was sound asleep in my snug little bed, minding my own business. Who was in her life? <laughs> when I heard this terrible pounding at the door, those three lunatics. Objection! Sustain just the facts, ma'am. Ahem. Well, they were so rough and dirty, they smelled like soggy sheep. They were running around and waking everybody up, shouting, The Savior is born! What a commotion. Come in. They should be locked up. Objection! Sustained. I have no more questions for this witness. Cross-examine. Not at this time, Your Honor. Do you promise? Of course, honey. <laughs> Miss Lada. Miss Lada. Please tell us what happened. Please tell us what happened on the night in question. Well, I had a dreadful start in the middle of the night. A group of ruffians came pounding at the outer gate. I sent my servant to get rid of them. But instead, those hooligans abducted him and forced him to go with them to a musty, dirty stable to see some Peasants, baby, there is no place for the kind of committee. They're meant to society. Objection! Sustained. Well, I'm finished with this witness anyway. Your Honor. No question. I call Dr. Sigmund Fruitcake, renowned psychiatrist and expert in the field of adult Do you promise? Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> Dr. Fruitcake, have you examined these defendants? Yeah, I could not get them to stop talking. They were highly agitated, and all three of them reported in angelic visions. Such delusions is not uncommon among shepherds. We suspect this is caused by inhaling sheep breath. As you know, sheep have very poor dental hygiene. This condition is clinically known as halitosis psychosis. And sin the symptoms is confusion, delusion, mania, and uncontrollable evangelism. And what is your opinion of their reported encounter with angels? An angel certainly wouldn't talk to those ignorant shepherds. It is my professional opinion that there are several camels shy of a full caravan. No further questions. Cross-examine. Yes, Your Honor. Doctor, do you believe that an angel would appear to the smartest person around? Certainly. Those the angels, they is no dummies. Do you know the story of Balaam? Tell us, Doctor, who thought the angel first? Was it Balaam or was it his donkey? Objection! Overruled! Uh, no further questions, Your Honor. The prosecution reps, Your Honor. Are you ready to present the case for the defense? Yes, Your Honor. For my first witness, I call Josiah, son of Jacob. Do you promise to tell the whole truth? The whole truth? Uh, it's God's truth I'm telling, of course. 
Now, Josiah, where were you on the night in question? My brothers and I were on a hillside near Bethlehem, watching our father's sheep. Suddenly, a dazzling light shone in the sky. We were so scared that we fell and down and covered our heads. I heard a voice that said, don't be afraid. I've got good news for everyone. Your savior has just been born in the city of David. You'll find the baby all wrapped in strips of soft cloth and sleeping in a manger. At last, I was brave enough to look up and I saw the sky filled with angels singing and praising God. to them, they spoke to me. And do you really expect us to believe that God would send an angel to talk to you? The angel said the news was for everybody, and I'm part of everybody. I don't understand all of God's ways, but I'm sure about what happened. I'm through with this witness. Several camels short. I call Abel, son of Jacob. Abel, tell the court what happened next. Well, when the angels had gone away, my brothers and I 
decided to go to Bethlehem and look for this holy baby. We searched and searched. Do you have any idea how many stables there are in this town? But it was worth it. What do you mean? Well, it was just as the angels told us. We found the baby lying in a manger with animals all around. Joseph and the baby's mother, Mary, were taking care of him. She said the baby's name was Jesus because he would save his people from their sins. I felt God's love all around me. It was as if God was right there with us in the stable. No more questions. No, no questions. I call that daughter of Do you 
you promise to tell the whole truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? My mama says I want to know how to tell a lie. Do you know, <coughs> did you go to the stable with your brothers? I surely did. Mama calls me tag along because I follow them everywhere. Well, where did you go after you left the stable? We were so excited. We ran and jumped and skipped and hollered. Like the angel said, this is good news. My mama says everybody should hear good news. Anyone? We didn't steal nobody's stuff. No, I said abduct. Did you make anybody go to the stables with you? No, ma'am. We just told them about the angels and the Savior and all, and they just couldn't wait to go.
fine. Cross examine. Oh yes, Your Honor. Beth, you said you were uh, skipping, jumping, and um, hollering. Did you make a lot of noise that night? We surely did, but we didn't mean no harm. being wide awake, and this was a wide awake time for sure. Mm. Hmm. So you were disturbing the peace, weren't you? There was enough peace and stable that night for everybody in the whole wide, wide world. Mama says God's peace and love should be shared. Your Honor, I don't think we need to take up any more of the court's time. You've just heard this defendant confess to disturbing the peace. I'm inclined to agree with you. Does the defense attorney have any more witnesses before I make my decision? Your Honor, I just received word that a foreign dignitary is in the courthouse. He has information concerning this case. Very well, proceed. I call to the stand his excellency Balthazar, advisor of the governor of Persia. Do, do you promise to tell the whole truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? I do. Now, Prince Balthazar, please tell the court how you serve the governor of Persia. I consult the stars and make note of happenings in the heavens. And what brought you to Bethlehem? Some time ago, some other royal astronomers and I each observed the same new star. They announced the birth of the king right here in Judah. We followed the star to Bethlehem. We found the baby in a house with his mother Mary. We fell to our knees and worshipped him. Then we presented him with gifts, gold, and frankincense and myrrh. Afterward, Mary told us about some shepherds who visited on the night Jesus was born. Have you seen these shepherds? No, but Mary told us they were dancing in the streets, praise, singing, and singing praises to God. It seems strange to us strange to us that the whole nation didn't join them. The very creator of heaven and earth sent a star to lead people to the birthplace birthplace of Jesus. This court should be celebrating the birth of the king, not putting these men on trial. In light of this testimonium, I ask that the charges assigned my clients to be dismissed. Objection. 
question of a rule. Who are we to argue with God if God sent a star and maybe even angels to announce the birth of this baby? Then Jesus must really be something special. We should all be jumping and shouting in the streets. Case dismissed. Thank you.